while most studios are you know either reducing the amount of staffing that they have and letting go a large portion of their staff another companies from software is doing the complete opposite because they're focusing on games that's what they're focusing on while well, ubisoft is crashing and burning from software is thriving from software is showcasing their talent and how to build a world that will immerse us that will be able to enjoy and get upset because we're getting that ass whoop from Elden Ring. Honestly, like Elden Ring was not my cup of tea when I first started, but I fell in love with the game and I enjoyed the crap out of the first game. And I, I need to go back. I need to go back and finish the DLC. I'm at the end and he is just giving me a hell of a time. I have recreated my character so many times but he is just relentless and if i go back it's gonna be a tough time because now i have to get um i have to get acclimated with the controller again but anyway let's go to the story <clears throat> so from software increasing base salaries by 11.8 percent and offering more to new graduates a couple of years have been pretty tough on the gaming industry. So good news. So good news pieces like this always appreciate appreciated per a recent press release. It has been revealed from software from software. The developer behind games like Elden Ring, Bloodborne, Sakiro is boosting basic salaries from enrolled employees by approximately 11.8%. Ooh, hey. hello. Not only that, but the firm is also gracing new graduates entering the business with a higher monthly salaries, offering an increase from 260,000 yen to 3,000 yen. So 17 to 17, uh, 1,776 to 2,049. A rewarding work environment. In the wake of so many studios closures and layoffs, it's nice to see that From Software is flourishing and recognizing the need to reward work here workers and fostering a positive working environment at first at, at from software we strive to make games that convey emotions create value inspire joy to this end we are working towards stable income and rewarding work environment where our employees can apply themselves to development the increase in base and starting salary is one impl implementation of this policy it was a few months back that from software present President Hidaki Miyazaki spoke strongly about the waves of redundancies that have been slowly chipping away at the industry for almost two years. Speaking to myself, this company, I want to say that this is not something I would wish on the staff at Form Software in a million years. While we can't say 100%, we can't say with complete certainty what the future is going to hold for, from, and Kadakawa, at least as long as this company is in my responsibility, there's something I would not let happen. Hey, 100%. This is like the most um, telling um, part of it. He wants to make games that convey emotions, create value, and inspire joy. That's all we want. We want great stories we want immersion we want to be lost we want to just forget about what's happening in the real world because the real world is shitty sometimes and sometimes we just want to pick up the controller and lose ourselves for the next couple of hours and just be in the moment and enjoy the experience just like when you're watching a really good movie or a tv show you know, if you if the TV show has really shitty um, plot, you're not going to watch it. <clears throat> Joker 2. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm going to be skipping Joker 2. Um, I heard that one was a cluster fuck. So, yeah, no, no Joker 2 for me. Um, I've already seen some of the spoilers on the game on the uh, movie. 
But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Like, we, we just want to be entertained at the end of the day. And I appreciate From Software for just keeping that in mind while making these great, amazing looking worlds and just giving us something that we really want. Games like Wukong, those are fucking amazing. That's an amazing game. And I, I still haven't purchased it. I'll admit it. But I will get me a copy of Wukong. And then you have games like Stellar Blade that didn't conform. Well, they did censor the game in the beginning, but they made all the right moves <laughs> after that. And I highly, highly, highly doubt that Wukong or Stellar Blade is going to be nominated for any award this year. I highly fucking doubt it that, it that they will. I think Wukong should win Game of the Year just based on its merits alone. For fuck's sake, that game pulled in 2 million active users on steam that's fucking insane that toppled one of their that's like one of the the biggest game this year so it's gonna be crazy if it doesn't get nominated for anything i will be actually you know what i won't be surprised because the game awards is just a fucking circle jerk a bunch of industry know-it-alls that think that you know they know better and want to push this certain agenda I believe that there's going to be some bullshit when when the Game Awards comes out. But let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. I really appreciate y'all for watching and responding. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.